next debate is uh, i want to do this one right here vamsi i want to start with this is vamsi versus arham versus abhinav for the best center back in the premier league i don't want to put in an arsenal player because we had sol campbell there were players but like not in the top uh, uh, maybe bro we, we never had those players we never had those players. <laughs> we had koshali commanding i hope saliba can be one later but not now for now these are the shouts for the best center back vamsi you have two to choose from who do you think i mean Vidic. why do you think either rio or vidic firstly tell us which one of these uh, you think is the best center back uh, in the premier league and why you're just vidic man i think uh, just he was so underrated like came out of nowhere signed in january like out of nothing and just the way he he, he was integrated into the squad and what he turned that team into was it was it was crazy for me it's very close between him and virgil van dijk i think virgil came with big money a lot of expectations he's delivered of course would i have liked to see a virgil van dijk nemanja and vidic combo of course i think that's probably one of them it would have been insane but i think i'm dreaming we've seen rio and vidic i think they complement each other very well i think as a pairing they both proven to as a single or set each other and win yeah i i don't know about john terry like very good players but again man like i i i wish him all the best like for what he's done gifted as a cl it was very important penalty and i think big players they, they should step up in places like that and all right uh, going yeah. to open up uh, do you think van dijk is better than all of these pictured here i i really wish there was social media as much as there is right now during the vidic ferdinand or even John Terry said all right because i wish more of more of their mistakes and and screw ups are more kind of circulated as clips on social media right now because everything van dijk the even the one or two mistakes van dijk does these days everything just kind of gets blown out of proportion but again let's leave that as a fact right you know virgil van dijk was 11 points from winning the ballon d'or as a defender who did that again he was like 11 points close to messi i think the last one was canavero after the 2006 world cup or something he was that and he is the most complete center back of seen man and i think he delivered to the expectations and it, the fact that he he costed us 75 million pounds and no one even talks about that money at all but right after one season after we signed him everyone knew what we what he was and how much he is worth and no one even kind of cares about the money we spent on him just kind of pro, you know goes to prove how much of a asset he is to the team and right now and if you see him play right now and you don't even realize that sometimes that he had an acl injury and he spent one entire season the prime of his career on the sidelines the fact that he's kind of back up to his level uh, last season i think when in the the quadruple chasing season at 2022 he was like right there that was that was the first season after the acl injury and i think we can see how good he performed and right now he's again back to that level so i think again it's just that people have this long memories of john terry or uh, ferdinand or vidic not screwing up at all and then sometimes you know there is a tribalism bias i guess but van dijk we know hands up hands out i think he's the best there has ever been all right best uh, pl okay captain leader legend aram let's go for jt funny, it's funny that abhin have had to mention the quadruple chasing season because van dijk don't win chase so i think now that the kids have debated amongst themselves john terry is the benchmark for the premier league the five time premier league winner four time uefa team of the year selection and the leader of one of the greatest defensive units english football has ever seen which had the best defensive record of all time and the best winning streak at home and terry was not even just defensively solid he was a scoring threat man he had 941 premier league goals that no other defender in the premier league he has ever done so talk about levels van dijk has been good but he has just had few peak seasons terry was at the top four over a decade so he captained chelsea through its most successful period and there is a reason why it's called captain leader legend and don't need two or three minutes like abhinav to just keep on rambling 